okay this video I will explain you the scope chain and the scope in JavaScript in JavaScript we have got the concept called as a leg skill scope but before we go get into that let me explain you what is the significance of the scope so in this diagram you can consider this each circle as a different scope okay and we can define the scope in JavaScript using fair late or const so each circle is you can consider as a different scope okay and there can be nested scopes as well for example a function when you uh, define or declare a function as soon as the curly bracket starts that that begins the new scope okay and if the function calls another function then the execution control goes to the next function and then another scope is created so there will be a two scopes okay one nested in each other and there can be also the same thing can happen with the block scope as well a block scope is created when you write something in the curly brackets okay and inside that curly brackets again you can have another block scope so there can be nested levels of scopes so here I have got a diagram which explains or uh, declares three scopes basically so at the top there is a global scope then there is a function scope and block scope okay before the late and const were introduced in 2015 version of javascript or es6 we had just fair keyword okay and with the fair keyword we were only able to define global scope and function scope there is no concept called as block scope but with the arrival or introduction of the late and const keywords we can also define block scope in javascript so let us dig deeper into that now so let us we have got uh, let us say we have got this block scope and in there there are two variables c and o c is pointing to the primitive 13 o is pointing to the empty object now if you try to print c and o javascript engine will automatically or happily print those values but if you try to print say x it will check in this scope okay x is there x is not there so it will go to the outer scope that is called as a lexical scoping and then so it comes to this function scope it finds so I just find the x variable it's not there okay no problem it will go to the global scope and x is here so it will print that x there so that is how the scoping works in javascript and that's called a scope chain so scope chain basically means that just find the variable if you are not able to find any variable in current scope just find it in the outer scope and keep finding uh, the outer scopes until you reach the global scope and even if you are not able to find that variable in the global scope as well and then you can throw the error undefined the variable is undefined reference reference error so that is what happens now here it will print c is equal to 13 o is equal to empty object so that is fine but you can see here in function scope also we have got c and then block scope as well we have got c so that way you can override the variables as well if you print something here after this initialization or in assignment c is equal to 13 it will print 13 but if you try to print c in this particular sc scope that is function scope after this assignment it will print s yes. and if you print the same variable c in this outer scope or the global scope it will print 11 because in outer or global scope that is what uh, c is storing the value that is c is equal to 11 so that is how scoping works now let us go to the program and then let us see this in action so we have got this a is equal to 10 which is in the outer or the global scope and we have got a lot of chain of the scope so you can see this is the block scope that we have created and then there is a block scope another block scope and then there is a function scope okay this is the function scope and inside function scope another block scope is there and what we are doing is 
a b c d e that is the variables that we have taken in that sequence and then printing those variables here so a b c d let us see what will be the output so here you can see in this function we have just got these variables d and e so it will happily print d as equal to 40 but since c b and a these three variables are not in this function scope it will still search and find those variables using lexical scoping or the scope chain so let us execute this one and as you can see it is printing 10 20 30 and 40 as expected as expected it is printing those values now let us try to print e what will be the output what do you think what will be the output for this e just uh, give it a thought and then i'll execute it remember that e is in this its own block and we are printing this e in the function scope okay and this block has got another scope that is a different scope so if you try to access something that is not in the scope it will give error so after execution you can see it has not given the error but it has printed the value of e as 50 how is that possible since it is a different scope and you are trying to access that e outside that scope still it is printing 50 how is possible how is that possible the reason why it is not throwing error is because we haven't used late keyword and that is the problem so if you don't declare the variable with a late keyword what happens is that that variable is hoisted and then put it at the beginning of this function scope okay because um, that is how the javascript was design basically in uh, older javascript there were only two scopes either function scope or the global scope so it will uh, the hoisting will happen at the beginning of the this function okay and that's why e is available and then we assigned e is equal to 50 and then it printed 50 now uh, remember that we have put late here so this time around we should get the error because what late keyword is gonna do is let is, is gonna create a, a new scope and then that will not be uh, those variables declared with that uh, late keyword will not be accessible outside these curly brackets okay so let us see if it throws the error it is throwing the error it is saying reference error e is not defined because e is only accessible within this block so let us try to print e in there and it should be able to print the value of e there because it is accessible it is accessible in that within that block and that is all possible magic happening because of the late keyword member here we have to remove e all right so now if you execute this it will print these values correctly you will not throw the error so you can see value of e is 50 and then a b c d is 10 20 30 40 as expected so that is how the scope works in javascript remember that the significance of the late keyword if you don't put late the code will still work uh, since we are not in the strict mode remember that javascript is running uh, normal uh, traditional mode and strict mode in strict mode you can't use the variables which have not been declared you have to declare the variables in the strict mode okay and uh, since we are not running in strict mode it allowed us to use this variable e even if we didn't declare that and that's why it was uh, printing that 50 but as soon as we put the late here what happened is that the local or the block scope was created within this curly brackets and then that e will be accessible within that block only and uh, again just to reiterate how the scope chain works when we try to print a it uh, tries to search in this block uh, sorry in this function scope okay this is the function scope 
he is not there okay let's go to the next outer scope it is not here as well it is not in the next outer scope as well and then finally it finds here and then it prints the value of a that is how the scope chain works in javascript if you have any questions let me know through the comments and i will definitely try to help even if you are facing any issues in your projects in commercial projects in your company projects do not hesitate to contact me i will definitely try to help you because i've got a good grip on the javascript language node.js all the ecosystem basically thank you for watching this video